Schmo with the pro with the current BKFC middleweight champion, the longtime mixed martial artist, Tiago Alves in the flesh, Miami, Florida, the Flex Cast Arena, Eagle FC 47. How we doing? Doing great, man. How about you? The Schmo can't complain, man. What brings you here to Eagle FC? Uh, we have a lot of, of my teammates competing uh, tomorrow night. I came here to show uh, some support and also to scoop it up, the vibe a little bit. You know, uh, we might have some pretty uh, uh, good news in the future. So I'm just getting acclimated with probably my new house. Your new home here at Eagle FC was going to ask you. You fought in a lot of different promotions. What draws you to this one for the next chapter? Uh, just the event itself, you know, uh, the people that are running the event, you know, uh, what event represents Khabib, it's very well respected, you know, around the world. And uh, I like what they have been doing lately uh, here in South Florida, and uh, it will be a, a good fit, you know, for me to compete for them right now. Well, you're the current champion at BKFC, the middleweight champion. What's supposed to be next for you? How come you haven't fought? What has it been since June? It's been almost a year. It'll be a year next uh, month. Uh, I was supposed to fight Mike Perry on this show coming up on uh, June 24th. He called me out. Uh, I went on and did a couple of interviews uh, talking about the fight to try to promote. I don't know what happened. Uh, 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 apparently, he doesn't want to fight me anymore because he got scheduled to fight someone else. And uh, at this point, it's very frustrating because it's been almost a year where I'm waiting to see what's next for me and I don't hear uh, 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 any other options besides Mike Perry. Anybody that they offer me so far, I say yes, but has been no talk when it comes to compensation. And uh, at this point, you know, I'm officially out of the contract. I'm ready to, I'm ready to walk away and uh, find a new home. Well, that brings us to here. It's the Eagle FC. Sitting up there is Kamara Usman, the current pound-for-pound pound number one fighter in the entire world, and also the current welterweight champion. You fought the who's who. GSP, you fought him at UFC 100. You've been inside the cage with him. What does Usman have to do to surpass him as the greatest welterweight of all time if he hasn't already? He is in the right track, you know. Uh, GSP just had a, a longer uh, uh, defending, you know, streak. Uh, but what can you say about the champ? You know, he's done amazing so far, and he's been beating guys on a most uh, 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 decisive fashion that GSP has. So, you know, he's right there. I think GSP just because you know he's uh, 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 it's a, a double champion, you know, so he's still a little bit high up there, but. Usman, it's right there. So Usman's got to go to 185 and beat Adesanya, the current champion, if it's not going to be Adesanya, or maybe he's going to defend against a few more guys like the Leon Edwards of the world. Yeah, I think uh, I'll say two more fights, and he definitely will be, you know, uh, uh, legitimate as the greatest all the time. But I know for you to surpass GSP, there's still a little bit more work to do, in my opinion. You know, uh, some people might disagree. So when do you think you would make that debut here for Eagle FC, Tiago? I'm looking to compete uh, July or August. I know, I know they have a, a show here on July 29. Uh, they have another one in August as well. I don't know the date for August yet. Uh, they just, uh, Khabib mentioned yesterday, the kickboxing, the Muay Thai with MMA gloves. That is right uh, at my alley. Uh, or MMA. You know, we got some pretty good matchups uh, 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 to talk about, and I'm excited. And let's talk about the gym, American top team. Dustin Poirier saying he's willing to fight Colby Covington, former training partners for all you guys, at 170 pounds. Is that the fight to make? Uh, you know, that's up to DP. DP uh, put the word out there, you know. Uh, if DP is ready to fight, we'll make sure that he'll be ready to, you know, uh, compete at his best. And uh, DP is a dog. You know, at 170, he's not going to have to cut that weight. He's going to be very powerful. Uh, you know, his gas tank is legendary. We all know about that. So it's a, it's a pretty exciting fight. So we'll see. We'll see if that happens. If it happens, DP all the way. And the Schmo was waiting for the Nate Diaz DP fight. We didn't see that one, though. Yeah, that would be like a super, you know, fan-friendly uh, fight. But, you know, hopefully... It happens still. We don't know yet. You know, at this point, it's kind of like up in the air. You know, I heard Nate Diaz was supposed to fight uh, uh, Chumayev, but we don't know yet. Nothing's being said or, or signed, so we'll see. And any likely opponent for you here at Eagle FC, or is it too soon? Uh, I, I there's some good names like Diego Sanchez is a great name. You know, this fight was supposed to happen uh, 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 ten years ago in UFC. It didn't happen. Uh, maybe Ben Saunders as well. You know, so we got a few uh, uh, names that. You know, we've been talking to, and hopefully, you know, we'll get something uh, locked in by July or August. Maybe even a Kevin Lee. Maybe even a Kevin Lee. You don't know. Uh, I'm ready. You know, I've been the type of fighter that I don't choose my opponents. Just give me a date. 
uh, 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 how much I'm going to make and where you want me to be, and I'll be there ready to compete. And can we get a final message for all the Tiago, all of his fans out there worldwide? I just want to appreciate everybody for all the support throughout the years. It's been almost two decades of combat sport, and I'm still here, I'm still hungry, and uh, the best is yet to come. He's the pro, I'm the Schmo, Miami, Florida. We're out. Thank you.